This is the latest generation Ford F-150 Lightning. And just like the early Lightning from the early 2000s, this thing is crazy quick. As 060 with the Platinum extended battery is reported to reach a time of 3.8 seconds. But realistically, 4 seconds 060 seems to be average and a quarter mile time in this truck is just a chat under 13 seconds, 12.4 was the best recorded number. Now right here, I do have the window sticker of this exact model. And the MSRP price is $96,874. And this one happens to be the F-150 Lightning, the 2023 version, 4x4 Super Cruise, equipped with the 710A package. So this one is fairly loaded so even though the msrp price is around ninety thousand, i've been looking online for similar spec models like this one with the extended battery floating low 60s to high 70s and in my opinion that is an insane deal for one of these fully electric f-150 pickup trucks because i've been inside rivian i've been inside the cyber truck and compared to those ev trucks in the market this one actually is a full full-size electric pickup truck because the inside looks exactly like a nice modern day f-150 there's no size limitation or anything like that and this truck also features the intelligent backup power bank for your household i forgot the exact name but if you have a solar system in your house and you're using one of the ford charging adapters to charge this pickup truck at home this truck can power your home during a blackout and your solar energy is able to charge this pickup truck. So realistically, this is basically a home battery bank that you can actually drive and have all the capabilities that you expect to find on a full-size pickup truck, so long as you don't have to tow on a daily basis. Now, I have had the Lightning in the past. I did a full review, which you can go ahead and watch here or at the end of the video. But in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my favorite features and some tips and tricks that I developed that will make your life easier in case you're in a market for one of these or just cruising around and want to know what this truck can do. I have you covered in this video. So one of the amazing things about F-150s or F-Series pickup trucks in general is the iconic number, number keypad. This allows you to have amazing override tools. As an example, let's say, where's my car keys? Let's say I left the key, I wanted to leave the key inside the Lightning. If I put it in here, and I don't want to carry with me if I'm going to the beach, if I'm surfing, as an example. I could override by pressing these two buttons. I'll override it so the vehicle locks with the smart key fob inside. So I don't have my phone on me. I can't use the Ford app to unlock or lock the vehicle. I just enter the pin code and have access to my key. And then this being a full electric pickup truck, you have a functional trunk that's automated which gives you insane amount of storage space, a similar size that you expect to find in like a Corolla trunk. That's how much space you have here because right in here, you can remove this and you have access to a 12 volt battery, which you could run jumper cables to start another vehicle. There's also a funny little Easter egg of a 1913 model three right here. And you have additional space back there too, but I, I wouldn't recommend storing anything back there. Then you also got little hooks right here for your groceries. Again, your full household outlets here in case you want to run like a campsite, you totally have the freedom to power that up. You even have additional USB-C port and a USB-A port here. And then over here, you have additional storage, which you have access to the power cable to charge this vehicle. You have a little drain as this can actually act as a cooler. The Ford Mach-E also has this ability. And then if you put the cover back up, if you're a fisherman, you have a quick measure tape right here you have access to, as well as more information. Now Ford does allow you to use your smartphone to be used as the key if you don't want to carry the uh, bulky key fob. This does have that capability. But if you would purchase one of these used as an example, a cool thing is in the cup holder, if you remove this little slot, this will give you a quick access to a slot that's able to identify the key fob. So if you insert two, the original key fob and the secondary key fob while turning on and off the vehicle, the front display will display the pin code in case you forgot it. Or again, the dealership you purchased it from didn't give you the pin number information. That's a cool trick right there to get that information out in case you lost it. 
or you're having a hard time finding it in the display. Now the bed here, nothing really out of the ordinary. It's very standard F-150. You even have the step assist option available. Makes stepping in and out of the pickup truck easy. But on the sides here, you do have a bottle opener. You have additional measurement tape, uh, like an additional measurement tape right here. You even have a slot right there to hold like pens, markers, even your drink, like a cup holder. System tailgate, a midway push up will automatically cause it to self close and lock itself securely. Now, as we know, the F-150 or the F-150 lineup in general is more work focused. And because of this, if you're ever working at a job site, if you use the 360 lamps that this F-150 has that allows it to be controlled with the app as well. These side view mirrors are fully adjustable as it will project a beam to illuminate and you can move it to a position that you want it to be illuminating if you're working at night. So all F-150s from the previous generation to this one has this ability and this one, yeah, as you see me demonstrate, has that ability to move your mirrors to whatever angle you need to. And it doesn't make any strange noise as it's made for this. Now here we are inside the amazing Lightning's interior. But before we start talking about this big screen, I want to talk about other stuff in here. Because the first thing I want to cover is the shift knob. Not only is it automated, if you put this vehicle in drive and you just turn off the car, it will automatically put itself into park. But this is actually one of the few EV vehicles that will actually let you go from drive to reverse without having to go to a complete stop. From my understanding, it's only Tesla that allows me to do this, but this truck, Ford allows its owners to do the exact same thing. Since there's no gearbox, you don't have to wait for a transmission delay to damage anything. It's electric. It just goes from reverse to drive instantly, and it's really smooth. Now, of course, you have the ability to fold down this shift knob and put this into a flat table so you can work on your laptop or eat a meal on the go. You have your household outlets as well as a 12 volt outlet in front, USB-C, wireless charging. I covered all this in, again in that previous video. I'm not gonna go ahead and repeat myself entirely. Okay, so I have to apologize in this section of the video because apparently my phone decided to connect to the microphone of the F-150 Lightning. So uh, as a result, the mic quality isn't the greatest, but bear with me, the information is there. Again, apologies for the inconvenience. Now we do have wireless CarPlay, which is quite nice. And then this portion, if you have this large display on your Lightning, uh, these are your most recent open apps. So if you want to go back, you could totally just click on it and do that. Or you can swipe down to actually remove it. That's a little cool trick right there. But in the entertainment section, you'll find that YouTube is now available, which allows you to use either your vehicle hotspot or if you're not subscribed to it, you can use your mobile hotspot and it will actually be able to allow you to watch YouTube videos as you're charging. Another cool feature, here's the lighting zone I was showing you earlier. So in the home editing, tap on apps, look for lighting zones, enable to turn it on. You can select the sides of the lighting you want to illuminate or you can do all zones by just doing that. You also have this capability to use on your iPhone or Android by using the Ford app that's linked to your car. But if you don't like seeing all this information all the time, even on the home menu, by long holding the volume knob, this will bring you to your comm screen. And then just repeat the process to go back. Now a tip that I do recommend is going to the little control tab section and go into connectivity. And where's this Bluetooth? Change your name. I don't know why, but I don't like that my Bluetooth is always open and it also says the exact vehicle that it is. So I find this to be prone to like hackers. So I recommend changing this to something else. So this way your car is parked in the parking lot and someone sees a lightning and Bluetooth pops up confirming that's a lightning. I'd rather just change that to something else. Just a pro tip right there. You can also do the same thing with your mobile hotspot. If you go into settings, Tap edit. You could disable it so your hotspot name is invisible. Very similar to what you will do if you live like in an apartment so other people don't see your Wi Fi name unless they directly know it. That's the only way you could connect to it. Now, if you need to look for a location to charge, if you actually go into navigation, you will see a charge icon. And on the top portion right here, these little markers will show you what level each, what 
charging output these chargers will give you so your basic will be like 20 and then 100 and then above 100 kilowatts of course 100 kilowatts plus will be like 250 or 350 kilowatts to definitely allow your vehicle to charge faster in case you're traveling go into more of the vehicle settings so in here in controls this is a this is the way it allows you to quickly switch between off-road tow mode or sport mode all it really does is just adjust the accelerator to be more responsive or less responsive depending on your preference or what you're doing currently one pedal driving this allows me to actually drive the vehicle with one pedal without needing to press on the brakes a lot i like driving with this on it's all personal preference you could lock your rear differential right here as well you can play engine sounds i prefer having this off it sounds weird and your auto hose is right here again you have access to the comp screen this way as well but you can always just do that to go back but what i do need to show you it can be located in vehicles and alarm system where it says ask on exit this allows you to enable or disable your motion sensors are inside the vehicle. So if you have passengers inside and you're gonna go and grab something like at a gas station or something and you lock your vehicle, this allows you to turn it on or off when it's not appropriate. But if you don't like this message, you can always just disable it. So it will always be on by default when you get out of the car. As you can see on, the interior illuminates and off. It's just black because the sensors are only activated from the exterior. And it utilizes the motion sensors that it uses to track your eyes for blues cruise. That's how it's able to detect motion in case somebody breaks in your car and could sound the alarm. Or if you had somebody hiding in the back. Additionally, if you like your mirrors to automatically fold, like a luxury Lincoln feature, this is where you can find the auto fold ability. I personally like having that ability on. So again, vehicle, mirrors, and enabled. And then right below here where you see low battery, you could actually customize the low power message to pop up. Either if you want to be popping up when you're below 50, 30, or 20. Kind of like the low fuel message. That's basically all that it is. And in emergency towing, if you need to be towed for whatever emergency, like from another vehicle, just go in vehicle and where it says emergency tow, follow the on-screen instructions. And this is how you could easily engage the vehicle in neutral in case of an emergency. But your shift knob, you'll find, also has this neutral ability right here. It's the instrument cluster. Nothing out of the ordinary. Although, uh, I gotta say, one of the complaints I have is I can't see the exact percentage of my range. Apparently, the only way to get access to this is to either go into the calm portion of your menu. So if we scroll down, keep pressing down until we get to the My Configure option. Remove one, select calm screen. Now if we go back in calm screen, it will actually show us the range as well as our percentage right there. Just something I wanted to show you that, that was a pro tip I wanted to right, everything else in here is pretty much the same like that I reviewed it previously so again I'm not gonna repeat everything but your pro trailer says it's here your button controls Ford blue cruise all right so to activate crew blue cruise you hit the little cruise control icon right here and it will automatically do everything automatically I can set the vehicle's distance if I want to be closer to that vehicle up ahead I could easily do that and now it's hands free so now I just have to keep my eyes on the road and the truck will do its thing and the lane change it doesn't do it automatically at least to my knowledge now I still have to manually like signal and actually like turn the vehicle because there's literally nothing on my left side the right side I mean so uh, yeah it only drives straight smart keeps you in a lane and manage to maintain a good distance between the vehicle up in front but really comfortable for a long road trips, of course. And then in charging, if you go down to the location and you select charging locations, select one of the coordinates, you can sign it to your home and you create custom percentage. So if I want this to charge at 80% when I'm home, but charge at 100% when I'm over at this charging network, you can name them and create custom little settings for each location. In addition, Adjusting the charging schedule if you want to charge off peak hours and such you got your mirror control As well as your front and trunk capability to remotely open them and close nothing really out of the ordinary But yeah back here again, this looks hundred percent like an ice f-150 Aside from the screen. There's really no telling this is an a, a uh, electric vehicle, which I like and it is fully 
Hammeratic. Again, I already covered all this stuff, but I don't know. I'm back here. Maybe you're a new viewer. Household outlet here. USB-C. Yeah. Heated. Vent. Uh, no ventilate. I mean, just only heated. But a ton of storage space. iPhone slot right here. You can put it in the middle. Cup holders. Cup holders. Cup holders. Cup holders. In the back here in that little center row. It's not a bad truck. And that is all the cool stuff about the Lightning F-150. Yeah, that's basically a wrap. I think it's a fantastic truck for daily driving purposes. You could fully charge at home, get close to 300 or 330 mile range under a single charge. This doesn't cost you as much as something like my F-150 Raptor will cost me $120 plus just to fill it up on a good day. So uh, this cost me $20 to drive 100 miles. Really cheap and inexpensive, especially if you have a solar system in your household. You're basically charging this thing for free and traveling around 30 miles on a daily basis without having to spend money on gas, nor do you have to spend money on oil changes. So yeah, you get all the benefits of owning an electric vehicle, instant torque, you have capability to pass slow driving vehicles easily and safely with this vehicle, city, highway, it does it all. And you have the massive bed back here again this is a nice value pickup truck for those that don't need a pickup truck to do pickup things on a daily basis but it still is a swiss army knife because you have a bed right here where you can load washing machines uh, oversized tv for your super bowl games a uh, foosball table <laughs> while having the luxury of low emissions right now i'm in a closure garage and the engine is on but since it's an electric engine i'm not dying or anything like that so and it's quiet which i like again the benefits of an ev and a used car market the lightning is actually a really good deal so if you'd like to see the full review of the lightning how it handles more on like its creature comfort not just the features and hardware again check out this video over there anyways my name's eddie thanks so much for watching and if you like to watch more car content, make sure you are subscribed as I plan on reviewing cars on a weekly basis. At least every Wednesday, I will try uploading a car video. And if you like to recommend a car of your own you want me to get my hands on, feel free to comment down below. It could be a used car too.